Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marvel Jar channel. And in today's video, I will share part one of my favorite games to play remotely with friends and family. In this video, I will talk about Jackbox and house party games. So being in lockdown has forced us to get creative in the way that we connect with people. Zoom and FaceTime are not perfect replacements for in-person contact, but they do help. What I've also found is that we are using this time to actually connect better with people who live far away. And maybe that is the way that these creative socializing options will really benefit us after this. We will use technology better to have more meaningful and richer interactions with those that we don't have the luxury of seeing frequently. So I have tested out a ton of games to play remotely. My poor family is ready to kill me. And I wanted to share with you which ones worked well and which ones didn't. I have really three categories of games that we've tried out, Jackbox games, games on house party, and other games to play while Zooming. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the first two categories. First, Jackbox games. So I ordered a couple of game packs from a company called Jackbox. It's been making games for groups for many years. So their games are meant to be played in person and shown on a large screen like a TV. But you can easily make them work remotely. Just set up a Zoom for your group, um, have everyone join the Zoom call, and whoever purchased the Jackbox games will share their computer screen with everyone. Then each player goes to jackbox.tv on their phone on a browser, enters the specific code for that instance of the game, which the code is shown up on the main screen, and they can all participate together. Whenever an individual player answers a question on their phone, those answers appear on the shared screen so that everyone can see and participate. It works really well. So that said, this is not my favorite game night option. Perhaps I didn't get the game pack, uh, the right game pack, or maybe we just needed to play a couple of times to get all the kinks out, but the software was just too overwhelming for my taste. It is an immersive game experience with sights and sounds and visual effects and animation, and I found it just to be too loud and too aggressively directive to have sidebar conversations or other group interaction. So those nights were fun, but I would say they were only about 70% successful because of the game platform. That said, I have a couple of friends who love this, so obviously your mileage may vary. Next, we tried House Party Games. So House Party is an app or software that is popular among young teens. In fact, when you first sign up, it encourages you to friend anyone on your phone who also has a house party account, and it found like 200 of my kids' friends and only like two of mine. House Party is its own video conferencing platform, whereas the idea with Zoom is that you set up a call and you invite people to join at a specific time. The idea behind House Party is that you kind of hang out on the app and you jump into house party groups with people that you know and sometimes people you don't know, who also happen to be on the app at the same time. So yeah, my life doesn't really work that way. So you can also just invite people to all get on the app at the same time, kind of like a Zoom call. You just have to make sure to add people into your call as they log on. You can have up to eight people in your house party. So the reason you'd want to use and sign up for this entirely separate video conferencing platform is that it has four games already built into it and they are pretty fun. So make sure everyone in your group is signed up for House Party and have them all log on from their phones at the same time. So even though House Party has PC and Mac software, you can only play games using the mobile app. Now add everyone into the same room and start a game by hitting the dice icon up at the top here. You can choose from four different games and I'm going to list them in order of my preference. First, Chips and Guac. So this is House Party's version of Apples to Apples, or you may be more familiar with the adult version, Cards Against Humanity. Basically, one person per round is designated as the judge and draws a prompt card. Let's say it's winter is coming. So everyone else has to pick from their five or six cards the match that they think the judge will like the best. You submit your card, the judge checks over all of the options and declares a winner. So that person gets a point and someone else is picked to be the judge for the next round. So this all happens within the app, the card viewing and the card selecting. So it's easy and fun. Plus, there's lots of time to interact and chat each other as this is all happening. Next, quick draw. So this is essentially Pictionary. So one person gets a prompt, attempts to draw it, and everyone else has to guess what they are drawing. They have a certain amount of time to draw as many prompts as they can successfully. Then someone else becomes the person drawing for the next round. So I've tried to figure out how to do this using Zoom, and although I have a complicated method figured out, this is way easier and more straightforward. Heads up. So this is a game app that you can play in person on your phone. 
where you put the phone and the prompt to your forehead and your partner has to give you clues to help you guess what the word or phrase is on your forehead. No need to put your phone to your forehead in house party. One person sees the prompt on their screen and gives verbal or audio clues for everyone else to guess. For the game pack that consists of all animal names, you can limit the clues to only sounds and motions, which turns out to be pretty funny. And finally, you can play some trivia games. So these are quick and fun. House Party keeps track of who has answered what correctly. So it gives you a scoreboard throughout. So I found our House Party game night to be much more fun and interactive than the Jackbox game night, which I found a little stressful and draining. The only real issue is that even though House Party is good at games, it is less good at the video, video call part. So people kept getting dropped off and having to log back in or breaking up. The good news is that the games didn't seem to really care and just added people back in seamlessly. So join me in my next video where I discuss some games that you can play remotely over Zoom. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated, and thanks for watching.